All right. Um, so uh, you just uh, bought some new uh, all sensors, uh, Honeywell SS forty ones. Uh, you have a soldering iron with like a small tip. I could have used something smaller, but this one will do just fine. Also, um, you have a solder pump, a little blade or knife or anything, just so you can remove the silicone out of um, the PCB. Just be really careful not to cut the actual PCB trace, which is a lighter green uh, line here. If you cut this, obviously the whole board is now trash. So, first thing is, let's turn off the iron. Uh, first thing is you need to remove the solder on every uh, leg. So you got three. Uh, if you got if you, you got skills, you can probably do all three in one in one pass. But let's do one by one for uh, this video. Now, what I like to do is touch all three and pull on it. The board is not well attached to it, so it makes it harder. And that is good. I know it looks uh, difficult, but it's just because I, I don't want to put my head over uh, the video so you guys can see. Near the end, it's possible that you need to do like a little bit at a time. should have uh, cleaned the board a little bit better so now there's still some solder in each uh, through hole so you need to clean that off Roll. can't bring the um, camera closer but I can assure you they're all clean now you need to do this on all of them in my case um, I will just show you on one uh, the, the yellow one but I will change uh, all of them uh, I like to have like the same components if that one failed maybe there's a reason for it maybe they're cheaper all sensors and they're close to the end so since I don't want to open up that motor like in three months best is just to replace all three now you will need to reuse uh, the uh, like the bracket for the hall sensor and you see there's like a little crack here since the all sensor is not really, I don't care much for it. I'll just 
remove it. There you go. And you take a new all sensor and you put it in. There's a notch on the all sensor. Well, there's two notches and it's the same thing on the uh, on the bracket. You just need to match those and There you go, you got your three pins. You just need to put it back on the PCB, spread the legs a little bit. Just like that. You will need some solder and some flux. You can use solder with flux. I just I just use a lot of flux. I normally use my fume extractor, but uh, since it's for a video, uh, you won't hear anything once I start that fan. So. You need to make sure before you, you, you start uh, that the all sensor is well seated uh, and it's fully in. Yep, it's good. Uh, excuse my technique I'm quite far from the actual PCB so I'm not sure if the, the, the job is done properly oh yeah it's perfect so there you go you've replaced I do this on the the, uh, the two other uh, phases and you will be good to go uh, they've put some silicone over it. You can you can use uh, some hot glue or anything uh, to cover uh, these uh, these pins. Uh, since they're pretty long, once you solder them, you can just cut the tip off because you don't need it. Just like that. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed.